Hey guys, it's Elise from Blossom Elise and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint cute little macaroons with watercolour. Uh, so these are just a really simple and easy little tutorial. It's going to be using our blending techniques and if you want to know how to do the blending techniques, I'll link my video down below. So I painted these little macaroons to use on the back of a letter that I'm sending to someone. Um, but you could make them for anything that you like. They would look really cute in a frame or even just like that on a little display board. I also just want to let you know that I accidentally filmed it in portrait orientation rather than in my usual landscape orientation, but I've done some video editing, some cropping and stuff like that. Um, so let me know what you think of this orientation. Maybe you prefer it, maybe you like the other one better. So for this one I've got my palette, my watercolours on the left hand side, and then I've got my illustration on the right hand side of the screen. So they're actually two separate um, orientations of the video, which is why sometimes it looks a little bit funny if you can see the side of the brush on one side and not on the other side. <laughs> so the first thing that I've done is I've grabbed the colors that I want to is I've tested the colors that I want to use. So made up some colors and I've tested them on a spare piece of paper and then I chose three colors that I thought worked really really well together. After that I've gone and traced the illustration onto the paper and gently rubbed it out so that I've got a really faint outline. So the first thing I'm doing after I've gotten my outline is grabbing a really really light colour and just drawing around the outside of the top of the macaroon. So I'm just drawing just around the outside, kind of wetting that area so that it will blend really nicely. Then I've gone in and I've grabbed, grabbed a little bit more colour and we just want to put this in the areas where we want it to be darkest. Um, so this technique is all about layering. So we don't want to put it on really really dark straight at first. We want to put it on, let it, um, sorry, let it, let it blend out, and then we're going to let it dry for a little bit, and then work over the top of it. So the trick is to let it dry in between the layers. Um, so I'm just painting around the outsides and bringing a little bit of the color inside to wet the whole area so that it blends really nicely, and then just gradually layering out with more color, and you can see that the color is blending out really nicely there. So you want to make sure that you have a photograph or something to work off so you can kind of see where the shadows and the highlights are going to be of the macaroon and you can see where you want it to be darkest and lightest. Now the next thing I'm doing here is grabbing my brush and loading it up with a bit of colour and I'm making sure that it's not too wet on the brush and then I'm kind of dabbing and making like a rough texture underneath. So for this we don't want the watercolour to be blended out and I'm just really dabbing. This is going to create that rough texture of the macaroon. If you find that you accidentally have too much water and it's not, um, it's blending out too much, not creating that rough texture for you, then just let it dry or you can dab it off with a tissue. Um, after that you definitely want to make sure it's dry before you start working it again. Otherwise all the colors will just keep on blending together. Now I'm doing the same for the bottom of the macaroon as I do with the top, starting with the outsides because they're going to be the darkest area and then lightly bringing that into the center so that it blends out. So you can see after I've worked on the bottom of the macaroon, the top of the macaroon is actually quite dry. So I've gone in and added a little bit more layers. Um, but I found that it still wasn't dry enough to give me a really nice watercolour finish. I'm going to do a separate video on watercolour layering soon. After I've worked on this macaroon, so I feel like I've got a really nice base layer, I then start to do the same thing on the next macaroon. Now what I'm going to do is speed up the next two macaroons so you can see them in a fast motion. Um, and then I'll pause it when I get back to the top one. So 
So this is where the layering that I was talking about before really comes into play. Um, so by the time I finished the base of the third macaroon, the first macaroon that we started working on is quite dry. Um, you can leave it for a little bit longer to completely dry, but at this point I'm happy to start working on it again. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing a lot of pigmentation on my brush with a little bit of water and I'm just working in to make that rough texture that I was talking about before. You can see now that the macaroon isn't too wet, um, it's creating a really really good texture and the way that it's drying is giving us a nice little puddle on each little dab rather than blending into all of the other colours. Um, this is where you can go back in and create some more detail and create it more realistic if you like or you can leave it quite soft and subtle just like it is now. So after I feel like I've completed my little illustration, you can go in with more colour and create more of a filling for the macaroons, or I chose to go in and put some glitter there. So you can use corresponding colours to the colours of your macaroons, say pink glitter with the pink macaroon, or I've just chosen to use silver for all of mine. I'm using non-acidic tacky craft glue and this isn't going to affect our watercolours. Oh, I am making sure that the watercolour is fully dried before I'm putting the glue on. So I'm just putting the glue on either with a tissue or your finger and then sprinkling the glitter all over and tapping it all off and then letting that fully dry. So with this illustration it was a really simple quiet um, washy type of illustration. The watercolors work really well with that type of illustration. Um, if you wanted to you could let it dry and do some more layers and create some more detail to make it more realistic but I just felt that this is the kind of look that I wanted to go for this time. So yeah I hope you like it and I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you next time.